Today, we're diving into an incredible process that keeps our planet healthy and balanced, Earth's recycling system. From rocks to water to living organisms, Earth has a natural way of recycling its materials. Let's explore how this fascinating process works. First up is the rock cycle. Rocks on Earth are constantly being broken down and reformed. It starts with magma cooling to form igneous rocks. These rocks can be weathered into sediments, which then compact and cement to form sedimentary rocks. With heat and pressure, sedimentary rocks can transform into metamorphic rocks. And if they melt, the cycle begins again. Next, let's talk about the water cycle. Water on Earth is in a constant state of movement. It evaporates from the surface, forms clouds, and then falls back as precipitation. This water infiltrates the ground, feeds plants, and flows into rivers and oceans only to evaporate again. This cycle is crucial for sustaining life and maintaining our planet's climate. The carbon cycle is another vital process. Carbon is found in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. Plants absorb CO2 during photosynthesis, converting it into oxygen and glucose. When animals eat plants, they take in this carbon. Eventually, through respiration or decomposition, carbon returns to the atmosphere or soil, continuing the cycle. Now let's explore the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is essential for all living things. Atmospheric nitrogen is converted into usable forms by bacteria through a process called nitrogen fixation. Plants absorb these forms and animals get nitrogen by eating plants. When organisms die, decomposers return nitrogen to the soil where it can be used again. The phosphorus cycle is less known but equally important. Phosphorus is released from rocks through weathering and is absorbed by plants. Animals obtain it by consuming plants. When organisms decompose, phosphorus returns to the soil and water, where it can be reused by plants. Unlike other cycles, phosphorus doesn't include a gas phase. Soil formation is a slow but critical recycling process. It starts with weathered rock mixing with organic material from decomposed plants and animals. This forms nutrient-rich soil, which supports plant growth and helps sustain ecosystems. Over time, soil itself can be eroded and reformed, continuing the cycle. Decomposition plays a key role in nutrient cycling. Decomposers like bacteria and fungi break down dead organic matter, releasing nutrients back into the soil. These nutrients are then taken up by plants, entering the food web once again. This cycle ensures that nutrients are constantly recycled and available for new life. The oceans also have their recycling processes. Marine life contributes to nutrient cycling through processes like the biological pump, where carbon is transported from the surface to the deep ocean. Ocean currents help distribute nutrients and regulate climate, supporting diverse marine ecosystems. Human activities have a significant impact on these natural cycles. Pollution, deforestation, and overuse of resources disrupt these processes, leading to environmental issues. It's crucial to understand and respect these cycles to maintain the balance of our planet's ecosystems. Efforts to conserve and restore natural cycles are essential. Sustainable practices, reforestation, reducing emissions, and protecting ecosystems help support Earth's recycling processes. By making conscious choices, we can help preserve the natural balance. Earth's recycling systems are complex and interconnected, ensuring the sustainability of life on our planet. Understanding and protecting these cycles is vital for our future. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into our amazing planet.